Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Call of the Wild Angler and the last legendary for this week and let's hope that we are going to get really soon the South African legendaries too then we are going to get four but it is Sidewinder and Sidewinder is not really my best friend why not? because the last two spawns I didn't catch him uh, but it seems I, I started to think for, uh, for once and uh I think I found a very good solution how I can get him a little bit quicker and I'm going to share that with you guys too. So first of all I'm going to give you guys all the, the settings that I'm using and the position and then I'm going to talk a little bit how I got him and I'm level 95. I'm boosting my levels a lot at the moment yesterday too. So first of all the position is over here. So you start here, Diamond Speak Outpost, and he is on the position that we already have. And you can see right away, uh, in this entire area, in the depth, you can get him. But that's a very big problem. But I will talk about that later. So the setup that I'm using is this setup. Uh, so I'm going with the heaviest setup, the Grow Rider X, True Mediator, 35 kg, 2 G Hat, and a Worm. Why a Worm? Uh, why not anymore the bottom setup? That's something that I'm going to explain. So I always fished from the moment that uh, Sidewinder was catchable with the bottom setup with the bottom setup. But I saw a very big problem with the bottom setup and that is that you're not moving. So if I throw with the bottom setup here in front of me, that means that let's say here is my corn. It stays on that position the entire time. You need to wait, you need to wait, and the fish need to come to the bait. And I think that's the problem why I don't catch them. Uh, so you can do a recast, that's possible. So you can reel in, you recast here, you do this, uh, recast again, and hope that you can find them. But the radius of the bait is limited and you're not moving your lure. So that's a very big problem and I would suggest... Uh, that you don't do it like that. I think that you are limiting the chance that you get him really quick. So then I started to think. Let's think a little bit how we can do a very big radius or area for every cast. And you need to do it with this. So lake trouts and sidewind there is a lake trout. They like that you jig with the worm or with the grub. But you need to go at the bottom. Because Sidewinder, you can see it here, is a bottom lurker. I'm not saying that you cannot get him a little bit higher than the bottom. But the best chance is that you fish on the bottom. So then I started to think uh, with, uh, with the, the casting rod. So what can you do with the casting rod? That is, you can do a maximum throw. You can reel a little bit in if you're on the bottom and you're not jigging anymore. And that works really well because you're doing a tremendous big area. So you throw here. You do jigging, bottom, you reel in. Jigging, bottom, you reel in. So you're not static on one position. And you throw like this. This is what I did. So I came here, park yourself in the middle of the deep hole. You throw at one position, you reel in. You throw at another position, you reel in. You throw at another position. And you can see right away... In 3 to 4 casts you do almost the entire area, it's a little bit more, let's say 10 casts you do the entire area that Sidewinder can sit. You're never going to have that with the bottom setup. You can throw here, then you need to wait. Then you throw here. And then it stops. But already the time that you need to wait is already as long as probably 3-4 casts with the casting setup. And I think... That's something that I'm going to do. And that's how I caught them too. The fourth cast I got it. It takes some time because you need to think about two to three minutes to execute the cast. You see it in the in the in the catch at the end of the video. So this is what you do. Maximum throw. You start jigging already, but you need to let it sink to the bottom. But start jigging already. Go with the speed 135% on the drag. So now you can see at the right, you will see it's 16.8 meter. But the moment that it hits 16.7 uh, meter, it's going to stop. Because you got more line out. So you cannot get the jig or the worm from the bottom anymore. At this moment, you need to reel in. 
because you're not jigging at the moment. At the moment, you got like, uh, what is it, 14 meters more in the water, and therefore it's not coming from the bottom. So what you do is you reel a little bit. Let it come from the bottom. Keep jigging the entire time, you stop. Let it sink again. One more jig, you reel again. Let's get it from the bottom. 15.8, let's do a jig on this position. And that's what you need to do, guys. And you can see right away that I'm doing a lot more area than I did before with the bottom rotten, I think. That's why I, you always need to do this. Because in the past, I did jigging, I just throw out. And I did jigging in front of my feet. But yeah, if Sidewinder is not sitting there, and Sidewinder is not coming there, you will never catch that fish. And we need to stop again. So let it sink once again to the bottom. Here we go, one jig more. Now it's not moving anymore. Let's reel a little bit in. And that's what you need to do, guys. And I think with this presentation, just go around the boat. And try to find him. That was it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. I hope it helps you guys a lot to get him really quick. And I'm done now for the legendaries. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.